thieves' vinegar is a potion with magical properties so potent that those in the know say that it can make or break any kind of curse. It's a secret recipe from England that dates back to the Black Death, when the four thieves in question created a potion to protect themselves from catching the plague while robbing the houses of plague victims. The potion is a closely guarded secret known only to a few witches and wizards, but we tracked the recipe down in a back street deep in the southern states of America. What the hell are you waiting for? Come on in. This is Maurice. He's my little black cock. And we won't be chopping his head off. We won't be slitting his throat on your stoop and leaving him flapping as we ring your doorbell and run away. What a hex that would be. In case you haven't guessed, Mimi is a witch. For years, she has researched old witchy documents and long-forgotten magic cookbooks to recreate the notorious Four Thieves Vinegar. She won't tell us what's in it, sadly, but she's agreed to show us how to use it. If you have a nervous disposition, look away now. Mimi is about to show us how to cast a hex to send someone to prison. This person, he's left a trail of blood and guts in his mist. I think I'll just take some of his handwriting with his name. Glass. Broken glass. That's all about shredding him up, putting him where he's supposed to be. Prison dirt. This is federal prison. It is not easy to get prison dirt. One has to have friends in low places. We'll borrow a little pour these vinegar. Incredible. Inside that teeny bottle is the magic potion to end all magic potions. Woo! I'm gonna just take a swig. Wow! Four Thieves Vinegar came about in the Great Plague in London in 1665 when four housebreakers were able to go into the houses of dead plague victims and rob the bodies of the victims and rob the houses. And what astonished the authorities was, A, they'd been robbing the bodies of the dead, but B, they'd been able to survive the plague, so they'd done it without contracting the plague. And they wondered what was the spell, what was the incantation that enabled them to do this and be immune from the plague. Now, of course, we know today that plague was caused by the fleas on the black rat, uh, ratus ratus. The fleas were biting people and spreading the plague. They, of course, didn't, and so they thought there's got to be a magical element to it. Now, Samuel Pepys, who lived through the plague years, often used to wash himself down at night with brandy. And one thing he noticed was that he didn't get flea bites in the night. And, of course, vinegar has the same properties as brandy. The fleas probably found the vinegar repulsive, and it was simply that device that prevented them from catching bubonic plague.